Welcome back to Far Cry 5's arcade mode, the mode that can give you something really good, or the mode that can give you hot garbage. We gotta go and take down some more bounty targets. And in the afterlife, tell me we'll be fine. In the afterlife... I can't sing for shit. Unchanged loadout names, but they did change the assault loadout and set it up in a way where your people are probably only going to be picking that one and ignoring pretty much everything else. But they haven't met Strange Desmo before. They've now just being introduced to them, and that leads to death. But this way leads to something else, at least the floating objects in the air. Yeah, that's right, there are floating things in the air, and here's a pathway. I'm assuming I'm supposed to follow this pathway, and hopefully my bounty target is something reasonable that I can take out with nothing, because nothing is my only loadout choice at this point in time. Hopefully I can find an actual weapon. Oh, there's something over there. There's something, and I'm guessing that's where the bounty target is. That's where my targets are going to be. That's where they have to be. That's where they're going to be. They better be there. They better. I'm heading that direction. I'm just hoping I can get a weapon soon. Still don't even know what my enemy set are. It looks like it might be cult. There's body armor here. Oh, I got a gun now. I have a weapon now. It's one of the worst weapons in the game. .44 Magnum is absolute garbage. Because it does the same damage as an ordinary handgun, but the fire rate is so small compared to the other handguns. You're better off using that P... Whatever the hand, other handgun is. It's the one that doesn't kill zombies in one hit. You're better off using that P gun. The P gun is also pretty crappy for damage. Oh, there's an enemy up there. I just have to wait for them to turn around. I don't have binoculars, so I can't mark any of the targets. I can't mark anyone. Oh, and they are an actual target, too. So I just gotta wait for them to turn around. And there we go. Wait a minute, there's more than one? Oh, shit. That was close, man. That was very close. They're mixing up the targets, making sure that you can't go straight to the end. This is basically because of the upgraded version of a journey, more or less. To make sure that you actually stick around and do some com uh, some kind of combat. So this guy's right here. I want to just put target marks on them. They haven't been able to detect me yet. None of them have been able to detect me yet. Oh, dear lord, there's another one. Is that one a target? Yes, he is. Of course John's a target. So that's going to force the gun to be fired. That pretty much ends the stealth right there. I'm going to actually have to start firing very soon. My first takedown, my first kill, and it was just a guy that was just traveling around the stairs normally, and it wasn't any of my targets. A lot of this stuff is very, very red. It's very red because the sky is reflecting it to be red. Okay, we can get started now. I'm gonna take out you. And then you. And now we'll see what happens. What the hell? Dude, no, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. I'll have your. I'll take your guns though. Where's your handgun? Oh my god, your handgun fell through the floor. Guess I'm not taking that handgun. So those guys should be coming up the steps. Someone should be. Nope. They're doing something else. Okay then. Well then, so much for that happening. I'll just... take out the enemies from here then. They don't want to come up the steps. Most of them don't want to. There, John's down, John's out. Holy crap, you took a sniper blow to the head. Oh my god, berserkers, you are tough sons of bitches. A sniper to the head, and you managed to survive. There, that's it. That's all the targets taken down. I don't need to take down anyone else if I manage to survive. The problem is, it's just easier said than done, because there's enemies in the way. So I am probably am going to have to do more firefighting. But I've taken out the important ones. Oh, no, I don't want to get rid of the sniper. I do want to get rid of this crappy handgun, though. Get rid of that crappy handgun. And I, I prefer the sniper. I prefer to have the sniper over the others, so I will. Let us get going. I'm probably supposed to blow that up. But if I can just do that, 
that's what I'm gonna do. Random lapping sound. Random zombie here. Wait a minute. I thought I got rid of this handgun. I thought I dumped it. Why did I get it back? Dude, I don't remember ever getting rid of this handgun. Okay, so now we have zombies to deal with. And I barely any ammo to do, to do it with, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I should have taken the shotgun with me. It'll be much easier when I die, because then I'll have the route memorized and I'll know where to go. Hello, behemoth. Goodbye, behemoth. I, I, you, you really think I can take down a behemoth with my current loadout? Yeah, yeah you, you need to get yourself checked out. You need to get yourself checked out. Ow. Ow. Screw this. I'm just running. So this is the real mission, just trying to get through this cave. That seems to be the real mission. In the afterlife. That's what this mission is called, the afterlife. I just jumped over that enemy. Because, yeah, I can. And there's like an enemy chasing me now. I'm being chased. They want my blood. They want it in this underground cave. But now we're gonna reach a point because I've managed to get past so many enemies that they're gonna stop spawning in. They will stop appearing very soon if I can figure out my way through the maze. I'm just going left. I just keep going to the left. Door open. Gone through. It appears that I might need a grapple hook though. I might need a grapple just to be able to continue this game, depending on how, how, well, wherever this leads. I hope I don't need a grapple hook. That'll be a real shame if I do. Where does this actually go if you go, if you actually take this way down? Oh, that just looks like a trolley death. That looks like a troll death. Aw, oh, man. Wait, what? The hell? So there's a scripted teleport that does something. It just didn't trigger last time. The hell? Where the hell am I? Ow. Okay. Well, we're here now, and I'm in a blood dragon field. And I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I gotta figure it out if I want to survive. Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? What do I have to do? Ow. Uh-oh, I fell in the fire. I'm in the fire. I can't get out. What the fuck? Get me out of here. Are you serious? This is a soft lock. Okay, so now it's round three on my end. It's round three because I got stuck in a soft lock. Couldn't get out. Couldn't climb out. Have to do this again. The Great Popper Lost on Mars weapon plays a very important role in this map because without it, no one ain't winning this without some dumb luck. Might be able to win if choosing one of the other loadouts with actual weapons, but otherwise that's it. You're pretty much going to require the Great Popper, as you'll soon see why. Okay, so I'm back to this point, and touching that fire is what causes the trigger. And I'm not going to touch it this time. I'm actually just going to go around and do the grapple thing. And if this doesn't lead anywhere, then yes, I will have to touch the fire. There's a possibility that this grapple's not the actual answer, and I'm supposed to go into it. Um... Oh, maybe I'm... It doesn't look like all these grapples work. That one doesn't actually work. That grapple doesn't actually grapple up. So there's actually a different answer than I'm supposed to find. Here, I'm gonna jump trick up this hill. Okay, looking at it from up here, I can see there's another cave there. So there's other pathways that I'm supposed to take. 
And actually, none of this looks like it's the correct way, if we're being perfectly honest. I might actually have to go into that fire, or that, that scripted teleport, just to continue. So I actually don't see any way that I'd be able to proceed, unless I find a way to land in that. That right there, but it, it might actually just be another dead end. Like, grapple says that I can get up there, but I can't actually grapple that. So what the hell's the point of that? Alright, let's just take the teleport. So now I'm in hell. Now I'm in a fiery pit of hell. By the way, I got this lost on Mars weapon on top of one of the buildings. I might have actually shown it in the video, I don't know. I'm not really gonna bother running through these now. Because I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go and I'm gonna need some time to breathe and some time to think. So I'm gonna take out these lost on Mars. Oh, not the lost on Mars. I'm gonna take out these dragons now. This is the part of the map where the Great Popper is necessary if you choose the melee loadout. If you choose the assault loadout, you might not need to, and if you choose the stealth loadout, I don't know. But empty, you're not winning no matter what you do. I've eliminated all three blood dragons that are here, so that gives me time to look around and see if there's any point in being here, or if this is the correct way, or if this is not the correct way. It gives me some time to, to look around. And from what I can understand, this might actually be all a waste of time. But then again, maybe not. Who knows? I'm still looking. I'm still trying to figure that out. But that soft lock being there kind of sucked. Oh, there's one dragon that's still alive. Alright, so let's get rid of this dragon then. And there goes that dragon. Okay, so where am I supposed to go from here? Uh, I can climb up this rock, but it probably doesn't lead anywhere. But I'm climbing it, and oh, there's a grapple hook. There is a grapple up there, so maybe this is the answer that I'm looking for. Aha! Found something. I had to take out both lizards, but I found something. We're climbing up. We're supposed to go up and not look for the area down. My biggest weakness is not looking up. So now we've climbed up, and I have no idea what the hell this place is. This does not look normal. This looks very unusual. Now we got zombie yetis. I don't even think I'm going to bother trying to kill them. We'll just go. We'll, we will just go. Ow! Why did they knock me down but didn't do any damage? I don't understand that. They knocked me down but it didn't do any damage. There. I'm at the statue. It teleports me. And it looks like I'm going upwards now. It looks like I'm going up. Is this a real finish line or is this the fake? I went through some zombie yetis. I had to go through a lot of- oh my god, that's a bright light. That is a bright light. No, oh, that's a real finish line. It's the end! Space battle! It's a battle, but in space! 56 people are saying that this map could be a not so great of a map. That's what they are saying. It's a warning signal when you don't even have a star rating after 50 plays. But I'm not afraid, I'll go in and do it anyway. Gameplay modifiers, infinite ammo, reckless driver. I will infinite with my driving skills. Slayer, melee, stealth, empty. I have a feeling that this is going to be another one of these maps that will punish you if you pick empty, but I've chosen the loadout anyway. Oh, what do we know? We got a bomber. I have a bomber plane. If I want to use it. Do I want to use... Wait, I don't have a parachute to get out of the plane. I better not. Wait a minute. I don't have any weapons, period. I have nothing, period. It's another map that punishes me for not use choosing an actual loadout. Well, screw this. I'm not playing your game. I will play the driving game. I will drive. And why do I have the feeling that all the targets are going to be blood dragons? This is, I see a blood dragon in the distance. I see it in the distance. So that's probably going to be my target. Because it's space. It's outer space. And that's me trying to run into the blood dragon and I took damage for it even though reckless drivers turned on. You can't hurt me because reckless drivers turned on. Yup, they are the bounty target. I just ran into them and took damage. I ran into them with my car. That seems to be the general focus. So as long as one of the targets isn't a queen, I should be able to win. No, but there are behemoths. There are behemoths and they are fighting a dragon right now. Oh dear. That dragon's probably taking so much damage as I'm running into it. Oh, there is a queen. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. Why did there have to be a queen? 
Is that queen a target? If that queen's a target, I'm just gonna start over. I repeat, I'm starting over if this queen's a target. And that behemoth's not gonna let me check. Go away, behemoth. I'm checking targets. I'm busy trying to check targets, and yeah, the queen's a target. Okay, fuck this then. Jeez, this entire video is just that video where choosing empty is basically death. That's what it's gonna be. Okay, do I want Slayer or Melee? Because I got a queen to deal with, and no matter what, it's gonna take ages to kill this queen. It'll take ages. But now I have a bomber, now that I have an airplane, so actually, you know what? Let's use the plane instead. That's not the right seat of the plane. Get me in the correct seat. We will go in the correct seat, and then we'll be, we'll be a bomber plane. Let's fly! Fly! Now, it's say- oh wait, this isn't a bomber plane. This plane has no ammo! This plane's a fake! It has no ammo! Alright, then there's one very important question we can test out then while I still have this plane. Reckless driver is turned on, so what happens if I go into the ground? Will I actually crash and blow up, or is this- is it just gonna just stay there for all eternity? Let's find the queen and crash into them. There you are, queenie! I've been looking for you! The queen died in one hit! I killed the queen in one hit! I'm so happy! I can't turn the plane around! Turn around, lady! I killed the queen in one hit! I am so happy! I'm so proud! So you can win with empty! Finally! Oh, wait, there's another queen. Ah! That was me hitting the queen as hard as I can. Well, I got rid of a blood dragon at least. Now I'm like stuck. I am the ultimate skydiver! You will fear me and my skydiving skills. I will skydive you to death! Oh god, I can't turn around. Turn around, turn around. The big problem is, is that I just have to try and find you. And then when I find you, that's when I give it to ya! Ah! <laughs> this is beyond stupid. This is absolutely beyond ridiculous and stupid at the same time. Here we go again. Ah! Oh my god, the immortal plane. I know that doing this is actually quite fun. So far I haven't yet to use any weapons too. And there are random grapples floating in the air. Because of course there are. Just give me the location of my last enemy. Uh-oh. Oh god, I've lost control of the plane. I lost control of the plane! Mayday, mayday! Oh, okay, I have control again. There's a hatch back there! I just found a hatch! Okay, I'll stop the plane in mid-flight. That works too. So there's a hatch out here in the middle of nowhere. There's also a grapple hook that I found that was floating in the air at one point. And I don't know if that will lead anywhere, but I'm just gonna go to the hatch. Here's the hatch. There are en three enemies' heads that are floating through. That's awesome. That's awesome, they're enemies' heads. I don't know if any of them are the enemies. Or my targets. There, I've opened the hatch. They should be able to escape now. No, nope, they didn't escape. Well, not those ones. I have broken into your bunker. Your bunker is belongs to me. This bunker belongs to me now. Surrender. And I won't have to actually shoot. Surrender! God damn it! Ow! I'm taking too much damage. Dude! Why would you give me a takedown option and not let me take down? Okay, heal. I'll throw fire in you. You'll have no choice but to move. 
I burn. Screw this. You got you are like the strongest of the enemies. There. All targets eliminated. Oh, and they get the Nerve Reaper is here. This is the Nerve Reaper. So now guaranteed you can win with an empty loadout. Guaranteed. It is winnable with empty. But am I gonna go back and do this again? Hell no, this map's not worth it. I'm just gonna go to the end and win. Oh, I need the airplane, I think. Or I need to get that grapple hook that's in the air. I think I'll just take the plane instead. Let's just go to the airplane and fly away. Time to fly to victory! After it took so long to get in the plane because two behemoths kind of interfered with everything. I skydiving perfectly! I skydived perfectly! And I just need to figure out how to get to that finish line without accidentally crashing the plane. There we go! Fly into victory! I flew to victory! Wait, what? It didn't count! How dare you didn't count! Wait, what the hell? That grapple hook just flung me out of the air! That grapple hook just flung me around in a circle! Okay, here we go. This better work. I'm flying straight at it. Straight at it. Boom. Okay, got it that time. And that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!